Okay, this is a session on Augustan prose, fiction, and drama. Okay, starting from what is that major event in the Augustan period that united England and Scotland? England and Scotland were united by the Act of Union, 1707. Who was the ruler during the Act of Union? Queen Anne. And uh, during this time, there was the Statute of Anne, or First Copyright Law. In which year was the First Copyright Law? 17... 10. The first copyright law was in 1710. During this time, you know, there were many periodicals that were written. In the Augustan period, many periodicals emerged. There were two main types of periodicals. What are they? Magazine miscellany and review. The magazine miscellany and review. Examples of magazine miscellany, the tattler. In magazine miscellany, not only literary content, other content is also there. Review is fully literary content. Okay? Tell me, Tatler, which year? From which year to which year? 1709 to 17? 11. Then, Spectator? 1711 to 17? 12. The Guardian? 1713. Then, uh, Spectator has revived. 1714. Who edited the review? Daniel D. Foe. Who edited Rambler? Dr. Johnson. Which was the first newspaper before all this? The Daily Current. And the periodical essay developed in the periodicals. Then novel developed from the periodical essay. Correct? Who are the four wheels of the English novel? Richardson, Fielding, Smollett and Stern. Who called these people the four wheels of the English novel? George Sainsbury. What was happening in drama at this time? Restoration drama ended because of The Licensing Act of 1737. When the Licensing Act was passed by whom? Robert Walpole. There emerged sentimental comedies and tragedies. Then there emerged Shakespearean plays. There was a revival of Shakespeare. And then came anti-sentimental comedies. Who wrote anti-sentimental comedies? Sheridan and... Goldsmith. Okay? Let us talk about the novelists. Tell me in which year was Daniel Defoe born? Fame important year. 1660. The year of restoration. Daniel Defoe was born in 1660. The year of restoration. In which year did he die? 1731. 1731. Daniel Defoe wrote a lot of journalistic writing, correct? Lord wrote a lot of journalistic writing. What are some of his works? Essay on projects. Essay on projects where he wrote about a number of products in projects including banking, insurance. Then he wrote a verse satire. His first literary success was a verse satire called True Born Englishman. True born Englishman. In this book he defended the king. Which king? William the third. William the third had a long reign. He was a Hanoverian king. Remember? In true born Englishman verse satire, D4 defended King William the third. Then in 1702, the same year as Daily Current, this man D4 uh, wrote a book Attack uh, which angered both dissenters and Anglicans. Which is that book, 1702? For writing this book, he was punished. 
a shortest way with the descenders a shortest way with the descenders how was he punished for writing this he was pilloried pilloried do you know the subtitle of this book proposals for the establishment ah uh, of the church proposals for the establishment of the church is the subtitle of a shortest way with the descenders this book angered both descenders and the anglicans now i already told you d4 edited one periodical which is that periodical the review the review was published from 1704 to 1713 what is the importance of 1713 1713 is the year in which the guardian is edited 1713 is the year in which popes winsor forest appeared winsor forest also 1713 correct the review was published from 1704 to 1713 D4 wrote one fiction uh, first fiction that he wrote is about a woman dying and her ghost appearing before another woman do you know the title of that book <coughs> one woman dies and another woman appears as ghost a true relation of the apparition of one mrs wheel a true relation of the apparition of one mrs wheel this was in as early as 1706 first um, fictional work okay and then he wrote in 1719 his most important book robinson crusoe robinson crusoe came in the year 1719 don't think he stopped uh, writing with robinson crusoe after robinson crusoe he wrote some more books based on robinson crusoe they are the farther adventures of robinson crusoe the serious reflections of robinson crusoe now some other writers also wrote robinson crusoe like novels about shipwrecks etc they are called what robinson aids robinson aids swiss family robinson is a famous robinson aid who is the author johann weiss w y s s johann weiss wrote swiss family robinson clear then da, da, daniel d4 wrote other books i will tell you the beginning you tell me the rest memoirs of a cavalier memoirs of a cavalier correct it is a historical novel set during the 30 years war and the english civil war it is a historical novel cavalier so you know it is english civil war 30 years war and english civil war okay next important book that he wrote captain singleton correct captain singleton it is about an english man stolen from his own family as an infant and he is raised by whom gypsies correct he is raised by gypsies captain singleton is about an english man raised by gypsies duncan campbell now why am i asking you about duncan campbell you say eliza eliza hayward helped him in uh, writing duncan campbell but the problem is probably he never wrote it william bond might have written it either william bond or daniel de fo wrote duncan campbell and eliza hayward helped him to write it then he wrote in 1722 uh, many works actually he wrote the journal of a plague year correct the journal of a plague year came in 1722 then he wrote a picaresque novel in 1722 which was that mall flanders correct the first picaresque novel that he wrote is mall flanders two years later he wrote another picaresque novel that is Roxana you are answering all my questions very good Roxana what is the subtitle of Roxana ah the subtitle of Roxana the fortunate mistress Sub Roxana is subtitled the fortunate mistress Mall Flanders is about a woman born in Newgate prison she lived like a her mother was a thief she also lives as a thief Roxana is a prostitute Mall Flanders also at the end becomes a prostitute okay these are newgate novels about criminals 
Okay. Then there is another Picaro's novel he wrote about a man. Do you know which one that is? Another Picaro's novel he wrote about a man. Colonel Jack. Colonel Jack. Then, um, what is the important feature of Daniel Defoe's novels? He employed and perfected realism. He wrote external realism. However, later Fielding perfected it. His so that is about Daniel Defoe.